welcome back to My Fair Daily. So I'm coming back at you guys today with a haul where I went to Target and I got not only one, not only two, but three bags worth of crap and probably more than that, but I've condensed it down. So I went absolutely crazy at Target this past Friday. Their clearance stuff was just on point this time around. There was just so much stuff I like I couldn't pass it up. So we're just gonna jump right into this. This is gonna be I'm sorry hashtag long ass video. So guys, the first thing I have to do immediately when I first walk into Target is I beeline it right for that dollar aisle. I always have to check it out to see if I can get anything super duper cute at a very obviously very good price. So the first thing I actually grabbed up is this eucalyptus and mint. This is a uh, or aromatic diffuser and I've already actually taken it out of the box but I wanted to show this to you guys because look at this packaging. It is absolutely stunning. It's this mint and gold. I absolutely love it. This, this packaging was absolutely what sold me on this product to start with. But I did take it out already and I have these already diffusing and while these aren't like the most like I have it in my room right now and I really only can smell it if I have it right up to my nose right here. I do really love the scent of it. It's that eucalyptus and mint scent. So it's very calming, very nice and refreshing and just a very nice fresh scent. So in the same aisle I also grabbed up this coconut citrus candle and again this just smells amazing. It smells like summertime, like the beach, like amazingness. So I have not burnt it yet. I will let you guys know how I like it. Packaging wise, it's just okay. Again, it was only three dollars. You can't beat that price. So guys, when I do Target, I do Target right. I scour every aisle to find any amazing deal I possibly can to throw in my cart and to really cry about later on when I get home and I see the bill of what I actually purchased. But I found these and again, I could not pass them up. They were such a great deal. I got me some underwear and I got just like, you know, very plain underwear. It was on clearance for $3.50 a piece. So I got just these very basic ones. These are just bikini style, very plain, beige, skin colored. If you guys don't want to see Naughty Unmentionables anymore, my videos just let me know. But I thought that those were super cute and I wanted to show them to you guys. I also got a pair of gray ones. Again, same style, but they're just gray. Then I got a tan or skin colored thong version so again very similar same price then I grabbed these ones which these are like the like the no lines and the no I don't know what the hell they're called but again they're only 350 I love these kind of underwear for when I go and I work out um, I don't like wearing thongs when I work out they're just incredibly uncomfortable I like wearing these kind of like no seam panties and again they're only 350 I cannot beat that price normally I buy Victoria's Secret ones which are obviously not 350 so I was very excited to get my hands on these ones as well. So I definitely moseyed over to the clothing aisle as well. I cannot help myself when I go to Target. I absolutely love their clothes. I actually do, I did need a couple of just long sleeve shirts. I work at a bakery on Saturdays just, you know, for the extra cash of it. It's a family bakery. And when I go there, I like to look, not like I'm going to prom, but like I don't like to wear a t-shirt there. I like to look nice. I like to wear like some nice long sleeve, you know, just casual shirts but like nicer shirts if you will I don't know so actually I wore this one yesterday this is from Mossimo that's the brand the, just a general target brand um, two of these shirts were only six dollars I love this I love the you know the minty aqua color and then the white contrast with it I absolutely love striped shirts six dollars I threw it in my cart and that was the end of it um, I also grabbed this one here as well which is just white or an off-white and gray striped one so I thought this one again was incredibly cute and then this one was actually the least expensive one this one was only $4.48 and this is just a really nice minty aqua thermal so again I'll probably wear this coming up very soon I love the color of it um, as you guys know aqua mint all those kind of really bright fun aqua colors are my favorite so Again, I, I could not pass up those shirts. They were an amazing deal. And now this is the monster mother load of all clearances that I hit up at Target this past Friday. I went absolutely, and excuse my language, but I went absolutely ape shit in the beauty aisle. There were so many amazing clearance items. It just, go, if you guys like beauty stuff, go to Target, go look at the clearance racks. They are insanely amazing right now. So. Anyways, just to start out with, I ended up grabbing this little, like, sampler size, you know, sample-ish kind of size of the Katy Perry Killer Queen perfume. I have smelled this before and I really loved it. I actually was going to get 
Last time this was on clearance, there was like a whole set of it, which I wish I would have just broke down and got. I put it back though, but I did grab this this time around. It was only $5.98 just for this little size. So there was tons of e.l.f. products that were on an amazing clearance. Like I'm talking under a dollar clearance products. I don't think anything that I grabbed was over a dollar. I think they're all around oops, the 90 cent range. So I grabbed as I'm dropping everything, I grabbed this tinted moisturizer with SPF 20 in the shade Porcelain. Um, this is the only one I could find in it, so it probably looks a little worse for wear from the you know clearance bin. But I didn't really care. I just really wanted to try it out for 90 cents for a tinted moisturizer. You can't beat that. So I will let you guys know how I like this. If it actually matches my skin tone, again, I'll have to let you guys know. If you ever tried the e.l.f. tinted moisturizers before, leave me a comment down below and let me know if they're any good. Um, again, for 90 cents, I wasn't going to pass up the opportunity to try it out myself. I also grabbed up three of the e.l.f. HD blushes. Again, these are all 90 cents. I grabbed the shade Headliner, which again looked incredibly beautiful. These are all like cream blushes or like the pump blushes out of the tube, so you have to probably pump them out onto your hand and use like a stippling brush or your beauty blender or whatever to blend them in. And for the life of me, I cannot get this out of the packaging right now. So this is what it looks like out of the box. So it's just this cute little pop tube like so. And it looks like you really need the littlest amount on your hand. And these do come out a little on, I don't want to say the oily side, but they're not thick at all. They're definitely a little bit more watery. So it looks like you could actually blend these out a lot easier than if you had a thicker formula that went on the skin very thick and was very hard to blend out. So I'm... Again, very curious to try these out. I also picked up the shade Showstopper, which looks incredibly Im intimidating in the tube. It's like this deep, like, cranberry plum color. Let's just see what this looks like on my hand. This might definitely be a fall slash winter color because it is scary looking out of the tube. And this goes on way thicker than the last one I put on, but that's what it looks like, kind of blended out. So. This product is definitely a very much a little goes a long way. Um, this might even be more of a lip color. I'm actually quite frightened to put this on my cheeks. So we'll see about this one. This might be a uh, no-go. So the last one I grabbed is called Encore. And this one is a like a very bright, vibrant magenta pink. And I already swatched it out for you guys. And it's incredible, like I said, it's incredibly beautiful. I don't think I own a blush quite like this in my collection. But it's very, again, very intim intimidating out of the tube, and like most of those are. Showstopper is definitely the one I think is the most wearable, probably the best blendable one. Um, these other two are a little on the scary side. But for 90 cents, I obviously I wanted to try them out to see if I liked them or not. Look at this. This is just from wiping off all the blush swatches from my hand. Like, holy crap. This stuff is just incredibly pigmented. It goes such a long way. So the last Elf product I got is this long-lasting, lustrous, lustrous eyeshadow in the shade Festivity. And it's just this beautiful, like, plum purple color. Again, only 90 cents, so I had to try it out. Um, when I was reading the packaging, it kind of recommended the uses for it. You can use it as an all-over color. You can use it as an eyeliner, which was uh, what I was kind of thinking about for this initially, just because I can't really imagine using this all over my eye. Consistency-wise, this feels like a cream-to-powder kind of finish. Um, it goes on incredibly pigmented as well. That's what it looks like swatched out. So I'm very impressed with the quality of this. This stuff is super-duper pretty, though. I really, really like this. Um, this one might actually be good as just a shadow base um, if you're looking to build colors upon it. But if you want this as a base color, I think this is really pretty. I think this would be, I think it'd be pretty as an, uh, like an eyeliner, but I don't know if it's deep enough. I thought this was going to be a little bit deeper than that. So I think that swatching this on my hand, this is a lot more wearable of an overall eye color versus an eyeliner like I originally intended it for. So I grabbed up these two Physician Formula. These are the Nude Wear. Uh, this is the blush, and then this is the Bare Skin Effect finish. Um, it looks like it, you know, like it could be an overall finishing powder or even used maybe a little bit as a bronzer, and then this is definitely a blush. Um, these lines, I believe, came out last year, and while I don't own really anything out of those lines, I definitely was attracted to the very much reduced price tag. Um, the Skin Finishing Effect finish powder is only $3.98. And then the blush was only $3.53. So that's a big reason why I picked these up. 
Packaging is absolutely stunning, so let's take these out and see what they look like. This is what the skin finishing one looks like. Beautiful packaging, opens up like a storybook, has this adorable bow on it. You can't go wrong with the packaging, it's absolutely stunning. And then on the inside is the powder, it has nude wear embossed on it, which is probably just an overwash of color. But when I apply this to the skin, it definitely gives a nice like overall dewy glowy finish you're not going to be able to tell and unfortunately my hand is so stained from everything else I've been swatching today it's going to be kind of hard to tell. Um, let's swatch this on a clean hand. But it's really pretty. I could see this using this as more of like a highlighter or maybe very like very loosely as an overall um, setting powder. So if you guys are looking for a product to give you a very nice dewy, glowy, like lit within finish to your skin, I highly recommend checking out this product. So this blush is in the shade Rose, and again, very similar to the last one I showed you guys, it opens up the same way, same kind of packaging. This is just an incredibly stunningly beautiful color. I'm very excited to try this out. Um, it definitely goes on a lot more pearlescent. I think that this would be a nice kind of finish if you wanted to put it over an existing blush, maybe if you wanted to tone down a blush already. Um, unless you dip individually into the colors, you're not going to get quite the color payoff you're thinking you're going to get if you swirl them all together. This is what you get, which is just kind of a finishing effect to your blush. Um, but again, it was on such a good clearance, I wanted to try it out to see if I liked it myself. Pixie was also having amazing clearance products. Uh, the first one I actually Looked at this before the holidays when it was on full price. So glad now that I didn't get it because I only got it this time around for $10.20 for an amazing, what is this, uh, 40 eyeshadow, 6 highlighters, and 6 cheek powders for $10.20. And it's Pixie. So this palette kind of opens up storybook wise. So when you open up this side, you get all the purple shades, all these kind of like neutral brown, purpley shades, definitely more cool toned. Then as you open it up towards the center, all of the cheek, oops, all of the cheek powders are in the center. And then these shades over here are more of the neutral warm tone colors. Unfortunately, this shadow right down here shattered a little bit on me as soon as I opened up the palette. But again, this is like $10. I can't complain. I really can't. This was normally, I think, close to $30, if not more, for this palette. So way under half price. I'm very excited to try out this palette and let you guys know how I like it. If you guys want to see a tutorial of me using this very soon, leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm always looking for new stuff to do tutorials with for you guys, so let me know if you would like to see a tutorial using this palette. Then I also grabbed up the Pixie Fairy Dust Favorites. These are all loose pigment eyeshadows, and while I'm not the kind of person that I don't really use loose pigments very often, this was 360, so I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to try these. I'm going to see if I like them. Uh, maybe incorporate them into a couple looks coming up. They're all neutral looking colors. So it comes all together like this in like a stack. And it looks like you just kind of twist off the cap and then the pigment. I'm not going to tip it over because it'll spill everywhere, but the pigment is on the inside. And I don't know how these... I think they just come apart by twisting off the cap and using which one you want. So... Let's see if I can kind of swatch these out for you guys and show you what they look like. So these are what they all look swatched out on my hand and they're absolutely stunning. I really, really love this like deeper, like red bronzy or color right here. I think that's so stunning. I really love like this warm brown, like not mauvey, but this like warmer brown tone right here. I think it'd be beautiful as a crease transition. Uh, this more of a golden color right here I think is stunning as well. I, I love all of them. I think they're amazing. 360, you can't beat it. I will definitely try to use these coming up and see how they wear on the lid. I also grabbed up this Boots Botanic Lip Balm. This is 100% organic. It was only $1.78. Um, I've never tried it before. I've never even heard of it before. But it looked good. It looked like it's good stuff. So I wanted to give it a try and see if I like it. And just like applying it to my skin. Just to give you guys what it feels like. Um, it doesn't feel like oily, but it definitely doesn't feel like super thick, like our very super thick lip balm. Um, get a little bit more on there. Definitely feels a little bit, I don't want to say oily because it doesn't feel, it feels oily but not in a bad way. It just feels like it's nice and light. This also doesn't really have much of a scent to it either, so if you're especially sensitive to scents in your beauty products, you don't have to worry about that with this. Um, I like the fact that it's 100% organic. 
Um, and it feels like one of those products that would be great on your lips. It's just like a lip base and where you would apply obviously lipstick or lip gloss, whatever, over it. But then it helps moisturize your lips underneath. Doesn't let them dry out or anything during the day. So I will definitely let you guys know how I like this product. And then I grabbed up three nail colors. Um, apparently the Revlon Perfumery nail colors are on a super duper, super duper clearance at Target. So they're only $1.61. So I grabbed the color. This is African Tea Rose. Um, I'm not going to open it. I know that these have an amazing smell to them, but they only smell good once they're applied to your nails, so I'm not going to open these up because they're probably just going to smell like nail polish. Um, and then I also grabbed this one that looked absolutely stunning. This is called Autumn Spice, um, so I'll probably definitely be using this probably more towards the fall time, but it's like, can't really tell, but it's like this beautiful like wine red, like interlaced with all these gold sparkly beautiful colors. I just thought it was absolutely stunning. Um, I might have to go back and get a couple more colors again because they're only $1.61, $1.61 for these wonderful nail polishes and I actually really do love this line of nail polish. I think that they're not necessarily, they're gimmicky but they're not gimmicky. I like the gimmick behind them. They do smell amazing once they're on your nails. I think they are a nice more luxury looking nail polish from the drugstore. And then I did grab this Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy. This is not, a, this is my only item that wasn't on clearance but I still wanted to show it to you guys. I've been obsessed with these nail polishes lately. Absolutely obsessed. Um, I have them on my nails right now. I have a color on my nails. It is chipping so I'm not showing you all of my nails right now but even the ones that haven't been chipping that much, I think I've had this on for way over a week now. The wear time on these are just incredible. So I think I'm going to be redoing my nails today with this one. This one is called L or Lady Luck. And they all kind of have like a casino -y name behind them for some reason. A lot of them do anyways. Um, I have Up the Ante and I have another gray one which is on my nails right now but I can't remember the name of it. But I do really love, I thought this was an absolutely stunning color. Again, I think a beautiful springtime color that I'm very excited to try out. Then I found these two Dove deodorants. These were only $2.44 a piece, plus you got a little mini version in the back. So I grabbed these. Um, I grabbed the Advanced Care Sensitive Nutria Moisture uh, deodorant, and then I grabbed the Beauty Finish Nutria Moisture deodorant. So I will try these out, let you guys know how I like them. And then sorry, another product that wasn't on clearance, but I really wanted to try it out. Um, Sadie Kins uses these all the time. She talks about them, raves about them. So I wanted to try them out for myself. Um, these are the Up and Up Cleansing Towelettes. These are the makeup remover towelettes. Um, you get 30 to a pack. So I wanted to try these out to see if I like them. You guys know how much I love my Simple Wipes. I usually don't use anything but my Simple Wipes. But I wanted to try these out to see if I like them. They're kind of around the same price range. So comparing it to the Simple Ones, the Simple Ones you only get 25 to a pack for around that five, six, four, five, six dollar price range and these ones you get five more for the same price range. I, get, I think I got these for like $4.29 or something like that. I did use a coupon for my Cartwheel app though so that's a big reason why I got them. I wanted to try them out. If you guys have tried these out yourself and you like them, again, please leave me a comment down below letting me know how you like them. Actually, really any of these products. If you guys have tried out any of these products I'm showing you in this haul today, please let me know down in the comment section how much you loved them, if you love them yourself, if you recommend other kind of clearance items that you found at your Target that you think I should go seek out myself, please let me know. And then last but not least, totally unbeauty related, totally miscellaneous, but I always love walking down like the stationary, kind of like the gift wrapping stationary aisles. I found these post-it notes on clearance. These were only $2.37 a piece and you get three pads per pack. You really can never have enough sticky notes. I go through sticky notes like it's my job. So I grab these off. I'll probably take one to work and keep one here. I am just a sticky note queen. They're not fun or exciting or anything, but they were only $2.37, so I could not pass them up. And guys, that was everything that I got from Target this time around. It was a ton of stuff. I, like like I said, I went apeshit crazy at Target, but I had so much fun. I was there, like, you know how you walk into Target and you have a list of stuff that you need to get, and then you end up walking out with uh, two carts full of stuff and, you know, $200 later, and while that sucks, it was... Oh, I love that shopping trip. I found so much good stuff. I was super excited to find that palette on such a good clearance. Like I said, I really wanted to get it before the holidays. Held off. I have so many palettes already, but for 10, you know, a little over $10, I was not passing that up. So if you 
guys like this video today, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm putting out new videos every Thursday, soon come or coming soon, I should say, every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, I have a lot of videos coming up that I want to share with you guys. Uh, a couple tutorials coming up. I'm not going to lie, this haul was definitely probably my most... I was so excited to shoot this for you guys. I was so excited to show you guys all the products that I got in this haul because it was just stupid, awesomely, amazingly crazy. I mean, I've never had that much luck in the clearance bins at Target ever before in my life. I was so excited. So I think this video has been long enough, guys. I will not keep you much longer. I hope that you enjoyed this. Again, please subscribe to my channel if you want to check out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And I will just catch you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.